I'm going to go to on the command line at BGM once again. Something else that I want to show you as well. Um, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to insert low NIDA domain code. Low NIDA Greek English lexicon based on semantic domains it is one of the lexicons in, in uh, BibleWorks. And uh, the domain codes are essentially, well, they're semantic domains, is what they are, it's a technical term. Uh, you want to think of it as a collection of similar words and a similar range of meaning. Well, you can search on these words and a range of meaning by just clicking here and a domain code. And now I'm going to type in here Agapaho. Okay, and now it shows me the domains in which Agapaho appears. Could be a couple, in this case it's a, a domain number 25, attitudes and emotions, and then a subcategory C, love, affection, compassion, and also subcategory J, enjoy, take pleasure, and be fond of doing. Okay, so these here are the list of words that appear in, in this. Quite a few words here, wow. Okay, now uh, I can click insert. These are the words in, in the def at domain. So you can see there's lots of different words. You know, desire, wish, uh, will, and things like that. Consider, well pleasing. So I'm going to insert, I'll close this window. So here, this is the domain range. Okay. I'm going to shorten this a bit. I don't really want all those words. I'm going to go 1 1 through 112. You treat it like a word. So I'm going to hit enter here now. And that is searching for a whole list of words, is what it's doing, okay. that I didn't have to type in. Now I'm going to go to see the words tab here. And here are the, list, here are the words that it searched and found. So I had searched in all of these words. Okay. I got pot wasn't there because I shortened the list. So I just cut that one out. But that's okay. So you can have any list, any list of words that way. And here's all of your search results that have any of those words within that semantic domain. And that was called a semantic, semantic domain search? Yeah, yes. By right, by right click, it's insert low and domain code. Low domain. Yeah. Now I'm going to bring that search back up again. Uh, remember what happens when you put the at sign, you get the morphological pop-up. Because this is a morphological search. You have to search this in a morphological version. I can specify I only want to find verbs. Wow. I only want to find indicative forms of those. Maybe just present forms. So I'm going to hit this star then after that because I want all, everything else. So it's not just, I, I didn't want the 1,645 hits that I had last time. Let's see what I get, 353 hits just in those particular forms. So pretty amazing. So you can, you can do that as well. Um, and you can put in multiple domains. So I'm just going to type a period. Remember, that's the and search. Well, let me just do up arrow. Okay, I have this here. I'm going to go back to the word. Okay, so I have a period. I'm going to do a space. And notice the syntax here. It's a bracket. And let's see, I'm going to do domain one, period, one through three, and bracket. And hit enter. I'm searching for two words. That's how an and search words works. Uh, two words. Like uh, I'm here my wild card hit, I own was not in my domain 25, that's in di uh, uh, domain one. So you can you can combine them. So you can use the use the morphology and you can combine with multiple domains. You treat them as, as if they're a single word, but they're actually it's a shortcut for multiple words whatever the domain is. So you can do that as well. So you just keep adding multiples if you wish. Okay. Uh, one thing we didn't cover was the, uh, the uh, wordless manager and verseless manager. I want to mention those because those can be very, very helpful. We now have a list of verses here. And uh, I'm going to open up the wordless manager. So I'm going to go to tools and wordless manager. And I'm going to, at the very bottom, I have load or generate word list. Notice there's a main word list and a secondary word list. So let's load it or generate a word list. Now where do I want to get these from? I can get them from Bible version. 
or in this case, I'm going to load the highlighted words from my last query or last search. So I'm going to bring in all these words I just found, but just search for it. You can also load the words from the lower 90 domains if you wish to, by the way. Okay, verse range is here. You can change that. And uh, in this case, uh, at the very top, by the way, is what uh, version, okay? In this case, it's the BGM. That's my search version. So I'm going to create my list, and here's my list of words, how many times they occur. And you can actually file, and you can save this. And to save, it says save as IEL. That's called an inclusion-exclusion list. So that's how it's going to be used. So it's just a list of words. Okay, so you can use this for later purposes. Okay, so I'm going to actually click on a secondary window. I want to show you something else. Secondary, second word list window. And now over here, I want to search and I want to find, I'm going to do a wild card at verb indicative, present active, first person singular, and a star. Okay, we've done this search before. Let's just search. I have no idea what words I'm going to find here. But I'm going to, I have my secondary word list selected. And now I'm going to select. Oh, oh I'm sorry. i to load or generate the word list. After I selected it, I'm going to load the highlighted words from the last query. And I'm going to create my list. So now I have two. Let me load that again. Crash on me again. Okay, there we go. Okay. Create the list. Okay. Now I have two lists here my main list and my secondary list. Say I want to compare them. I could, I could just as easily have pulled up vocabulary for Ephesians and Colossians to see what the two vocabulary lists are. Mm -hmm. And here I can select. I have, I have my secondary list here. I want to find out which words in the first list are also in the second. Mm -hmm. So I can select, and I can select words common to both lists. Now I've selected them, and you can see here are the words that are common to both lists. Only a couple up here on the second list. The first list, there's a, there's a few there. And now I can edit, I can delete the selected, I can uh, invert that. Say I want to probably not. Uh, oh, invert selection here. Okay, so now everything else is, is highlighted here. Yep, I can, I can delete, select words common, uh, let's see, edit, delete selected. So here's my list of words that appears in both lists. So now I'm going to save this file, save as IEL, okay, and uh, yeah, it's just R list one, okay, let's just save that and close. Uh, I won't save that first, let's don't need it. Now I'm going to right click in the command line, insert word list file name. And here's my list, my name open. And wow, that looks familiar, doesn't it? Looks like a little nice syntax list. I can hit enter. And let's see what see my list of words here. Listed my, so I can have a list of words and I can search with one word list on the command line. And that functions as a word. I can put the at sign and put morphological codes behind that. You can do a lot of things with this. Very flexible. Now the let's get the list of verses. She should show the verse list manager. So I look on tools and verse list manager. Can I have also two lists here? And I, I say I want to import the entire search window verse list. And there it is. Now notice it's mapped according to the BGM. If you change to another version, it may be different. Uh, remember, BGM has a Septuagint. Septuagint has the Apocrypha. So if I had any, uh, yeah, here we go, Syriac is in there, okay. Now I can change this. Say I actually want to export a list, though, and use it for um, an ESV. Well, I'm going to have to edit and remap selected verses. So let's, uh, let's first of all select select all, edit, and I'm going to remap selected verses to another version. And uh, show only the active, and 
English. Uh, let's go with ESV. Okay, and there we go. Now it's set up for the ESV. It's now the verse mapping. So if I if I searched in Hebrew Bible and I wanted to export it as a list of verses for the Septuagint, the versification would be wrong. Okay, but now here I can remap it. It'll do the mapping for me. And now I'm going to have a correct set of verses mapped to whatever version I'm specifying. So that's how you would do that. And then you could file and you can save this as something. Uh, you could also um, export, let's export to the search window. Okay, so my verses are over here now. Uh, it didn't really change that much, except that Syrac is gone now. But, uh, but you can you can save these list file and save as and save it as a verse list. Remember we used that before in the uh, report generator. You can use them in a variety of different places in the program, though. Can't really get into all of that right now. Um, so I'm just going to cancel that. So that's the the verse list manager. And you notice you have two windows. Just like we compared the words, you can compare verse lists. So if you're say you have a a search on kingdom and you have a a search on God uh, or heaven, um, say, he say heaven, uh, you can then compare the searches and find out which verses are in agreement, and find out which verses are in common between it. You do that type of thing. So it just depends on what, what task you have and what you, what you need to do. So you can compare verses. Now you, you do have to compare verses on versions that have the same verses. So it's still book specific, text specific. 